So welcome to my second tutorial in Stardraw AWI. I want to show you today how you use the advanced reporting functions. Stardraw AWI has the possibility when you have this block schematics or other drawings that you can very easily create a cable list for example or a part list. To do this you need a little bit to know about it, okay? Um, first of all we need to look where are the the reports okay we have here the tools reports oops tools reports and these are all the predefined um, reports we have we ca you can use one of these and edit like you want to have it so it's just one click and you generate your offer for your customers for example um, I want to show you now the cable schedule all the other things are working in the same way to use the cable schedule, um, I think we. No, no, I, I show it here. Okay. Um, when we look at our connectors here, then we have here our desktop computer. We have a monitor line which is going from here to the switcher. Okay. When I want to give this um, cable name or something like that, then I just do a double click here and then it opens the attribute window. In this attribute window, I have here all the attributes which are belonging to that cable. These are predefined ones, but you can add your own if you want to. So um, all the stuffs which starts with CS are the one which are used in the reports. So the one we are using now, for example, is the description. I want to say, okay, this is a HDMI cable. This is maybe the type AT453RT, whatever you call it. <laughs> oh, sorry. AT35T, for example. Okay. Then we have a start label. This will be on my plan here. So I say this is the PC and it's the VGI. Oh no, it's a D it's DVI. Okay. So you see this label appears right here on my computer. On the switcher I have the same possibility. I mean, we close this here. I can now go here and say okay let's open it here. Say this is the, the CS end label and I say, say okay this is the switcher. It's DVI port or sorry, input input port 1. Ah, great, we have it here. Okay, let's do the next cable. We click on this and you have to enter the same thing here. It's a little bit stupid to do that, but Stardra has a better thing here. Um, no, uh, I cut this off here and start with this tool here. This is the attribute editing tool. I can here say, okay, I want to edit the attribute CSN label and I want to add a number and the number should have the following format this is the switcher DVI input port 1 okay I don't want to start with 1 I just place a no I want I place a 1 here and here we say we start with the value of 1 we automatically increase the values and we increase 1. So I say OK here. Then I click just here on the. Uh, then something wrong, OK. And maybe it's this one here. OK, let's try again. So we click here, you see DVI switcher input port 1, port 2, port 3, port 5, port 5. OK, we're done. Let's do the next thing. This is the very simple and easy way to add all the attributes. So if you don't want to do that or you just want to say, okay, these are all HDMI cables, then I can say I want to change the CS description. Say, okay, I use a string and just write here HDMI cable. So I say, okay, and then I just click on these cables you can see you have the actual value here and a new value so we click here and there and when you open one of the cables here you can see um, that it is all entered here 
very simple to do that we can do that with the end connector from connector to connector and so on let's do it with one cable so that you can see how let's do it with this one here so I say CS from double click here it comes from a Denon DVD 1800BD and it goes to this one this is the Geffen Inc. X DVI 841 and you can call it by any name you like and via you can enter something here if you like to okay um, you can also say start label here and say it's for example cable number one and this is a RG uh, uh, RGB half okay it's a RGBHY cable so I can see which connector I have I can also add a special field and say okay I want to have the port CS connector and say okay this is a VGI male or a VGI female or a DVI male or female or whatever you like okay and now when we entered all the information for all the cables we have here then I just go to tools report report and say cable schedule well, let's move first in the Excel sheet here maybe you can see that oh, not really okay then you say cable schedule and you see the no oh, it's too big for the screen okay here you can see okay it said oh it's the HDMI cable it came from the Denon DVI it goes to the given product it goes over this is this, this start label and here are the end labels you can add every value you want to change the reports manually this is the predefined ones you have to go to the directory where all the files are located to find these files we have here the option and the library directories here and you open that you can see the templates and reports in this directory you can find all the reports let's move this in it's this here you see we have the cable schedule here if we open that for now and we click uh, in the line under the the heading you can see it's the field detail CS description if you want to add a specific tile here then just say add a line um, do not when you do that um, enter the new field between the already existing files do not add it at the end because it's defined as a database you can add it at the end you need to redefine the database but I think this is not really useful to do that so just um, do it here say this is my um, start connector and then here in this file we say well let's copy this one here and paste it here and say it's a detail description and say it's start con yeah, now we have here the detail CS description and the detail CS start con to add information to this field we need to copy that exactly that and we need to save this file let's save it in a in another new file not so familiar with the new excel spreadsheet um, <laughs> yeah okay you can do this by a normal excel I'm not so familiar with this one here because it is uh, right protected at the moment it's in the wrong directory here um, I have to figure out that first with this Windows 7 application here normally it's quite simple okay simply save it you can try to save that it says no you're not allowed in that directory this has to do with the user rights so we have first to unlock the user rights then we can add this file here or we change the directory where the libraries are and say okay put them somewhere to our files and not in the 
secured folders of Windows 7. Um, okay. Uh, go away. So when we want to use this one here, um, we need to add this attribute to this um, to this cable. So I go here and say modify and say okay I wanna have a new attribute the name of the attribute should be csstartcon it's a string and standard value of this is not available for example okay then I'm created this thing close it here and when we have a look here and we have here the csstartcon when we enter this we can now say it's a RGBHV for the connector or maybe we write the behind it BNC for example okay when we now generate the report and we have saved the file before then it's quite easy um, to generate the report with all the fields we want we have also the possibility to add external data sources and say okay here we have the uh, the manufacturer here are the attributes which are in a database and I can use this one and connect it to an external database for example to get the data directly out of a ERP system or something like that good um, we have also more reports we can do this by cable schedule or we can do a, a part list this is also possible I think this must be this yeah. you see this is a all right this here is different it's just a different view here we have the description of the devices we have description of the other device and we can also have here automatically the field from to via start label end label and so on this can be done automatically so I hope this will be enough for a basic training maybe I can add a little bit more in the company um, at the moment for the beginning this should be enough I hope okay see you soon bye bye